Welcome to Transformational Vedic Astrology. Um, I'm Michael Mastro, and we're, today we're going to look at the chart for Benjamin Netanyahu. He was born October 21, 1949, 10, around 10.15 a.m. in Tel Aviv, Israel. If you looked at the eastern horizon when you were born, you would see the constellation associated with Scorpio rising around 16 degrees. This becomes the 16 degree rising degree becomes the most effective point of every house and any planet that's within um, five degrees of that 16 either like from 11 degrees to 21 degrees um, like mercury um, has a lot of impact in his chart so first we're going to look and see how the planets are operating then we're going to look at when the planets were operating because not everything happens all at once and then we'll look at what we could do to improve uh, fix this chart and improve uh, Benjamin's uh, karma so uh, first thing we want to look and see uh, which are the functional malefic and benefic planets so we know that any planet that rules the 6th, the 8th, or the 12th house, these are the Dustana houses, the houses that create challenges for us to grow, uh, those become functional malefic along with Rahu and K2 for every chart. So here we have uh, Aries in the 6th in, in house ruled by Mars. Mars becomes functional malefic. And then we have Libra in the 12th house ruled by Venus. So Mars, Venus, Rahu, and K2 are the functional malefics. All of the other planets um, are benefic. And so Mars and Venus and Rahu and K2 can cause some challenges. Uh, and uh, so uh, we're going to look at the, at the strength of all the planets and to see how well they um, promote their own significations in this chart. Um, but wherever we see a multi-cona sign, the multi-cona signs are 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 11. Those are the houses where you find a multi-cona sign um, that uh, what Benjamin came here to work on in this life. So we see the first sign of Aries ruled by Mars in that sixth house. This, so he came here to work on his health work on healing, healing others, healing a nation, to work on finances and debts and, um, and then uh, conflicts. And then um, we see the fourth sign in the ninth house, work on good fortune, religion, politics, government, work on um, the fifth sign um, in the career house, career is a big focus, and then income, the, the 11th house is a big focus. You have the, the sixth sign there. And then you have the seventh sign of Libra again, uh, ruling this house of spiritual growth through letting go of attachments. So there can be some addiction, some, um, some losses, expenses, etc. And then you have the 11th sign of Aquarius in the fourth house. Fourth house is happiness through home life and property. So let's go through each of the planets and see that what the strength is. So any planet that's less than five degrees um, becomes a uh, uh, child uh, in, in adolescence. And any planet that's more than 25 degrees becomes an old age. So the the adolescent or the older person cannot put, protect or promote their own certification. So sun is just slightly weak by one degree and it's ruling this house of career. Now sun has to do with leadership, politics, government, and so says that he would have a career through politics, leadership. But because sun is in the 12th house, it is not without challenges or conflicts and losses expenses moon is at 26 degrees so just slightly weak in old age um, it is afflicted by rahu and k2 so 
you know, it's within uh, th three degrees of K2 and uh, Rahu. So Moon is um, ruling the house of good fortune, religion, politics, government, placed in the house of income. So again, it says that he can have income through working with people, uh, working with the go uh, working in the government and in politics. And uh, but it, because it is afflicted, there can be ups and downs, some you know eclipse. So you know. Uh, times when things, uh, there are unexpected events. Mar uh, Mercury is at 16 degrees, close to the most effective point in that house of income. And so uh, this is really his strongest planet. It gives him good communication, persuasive speech, um, ability to write books. I guess he wrote three or four books. Um, and so, yeah, um, it gives him ability to work with other people and um, have friendships that uh, promote his politics, uh, his political career. So then Mars is at uh, three degrees. It's a functional malefic because it rules this sixth house of health and conflict. And uh, it uh, says that he he will have some conflicts in his life. He will have, he has a hot temper. He has a fighting nature. He was actually wounded in combat. So accidents and, and uh, things like that uh, are also associated with this, um, this house. Jupiter's at zero degrees, so very weak. And Jupiter rules the house of wealth, recognition, and continuation of the moral marital bond. So it is weak and it is placed in the house of success, entrepreneurial success. So it says that he would have wealth and recognition through um, religion and uh, government and uh, ability to lead have a, a, a expanded vision of his country, um, but because it's weak, uh, there can be conflicts within all of that, as well as within the marital bond, because he was married three times. So let's see, gives him ability, abilities in finance and economics as well. Venus, also associated with finances, uh, is at 19 degrees. It's a functional malefic. It's close to the most effective point, so it has a lot of influences in his life. It also represents mar um, wife, so uh, brings some conflicts into the mar marriage. Um, let's see. Uh, and uh, uh, Venus is fine arts, performing arts, and healing arts. So he also uh, studied to be an architect and also was involved in finances and e economic uh, models. Saturn is at 22 degrees. It is ruling the house of happiness and home life and property. It is placed in the career house. So it it um, it is also a planet that. Uh, gives him ability to be to serve the public through politics. Rahu and K2 are at 23 degrees. Um, so they um, they give uh, desire for creativity, for investments, um, for children and education. And, and then uh, having K2 in this house of income gives some spiritual influence to uh, income. And uh, so, but yeah, he was uh, really liked to be involved in speculation and uh, economics. So let's look at when the planets were operating. So older brother died um, in um, July of 76. So this is the house that represents older brother. This was during a Jupiter-Mercury period. Mercury so rules this house of older brother, and Jupiter is very weak. 
so it definitely had some effect then and his brother was killed in the war and then um, uh, he was indicted for bribing um, a news agency to give him a uh, favorable press uh, in January, March of 2000 and that was during a Saturn Sun period so Sun being in this house of losses and expenses and imprisonment um, as well as Saturn so you know in politics uh, due to politics political ma manipulation so then we have um, became prime minister during a Mercury period. Remember, Mercury is his blessed planet. So Mercury's income gives, gives uh, you know, uh, children and, and growth and career and, and income. So that was a big win for him. Uh, then in um, March of 2018, he was hospitalized. So that was during a Rahu Mercury period. So Rahu can bring these unexpected events. Um, and uh, let's see here. In uh, April of two, 2019, uh, he, in, during the election, he failed to gain his coalition. So that was during a sun period. And Sun was transiting the house of um, debts and conflict. Sun is losses and expenses. So, yeah, definitely affected his career and um, success. Uh, we'll see now what happens. Now, what could we do to strengthen this chart? So, we want to transform, not strengthen, his malefic. So, Rahu, Mars, K2 and Venus we want to strengthen. So Venus by um, helping women. Um, Mars by helping men that are like brothers. And Rahu helping those who cannot help themselves. And uh, K2 by helping spiritual organizations. So I think all of this he does and that is attributed to some of his successes. Uh, and then we would like to strengthen the rest of his planets. Mercury is really pretty strong and well placed, but uh, the rest of the planets need uh, further strengthening. So here we have, we want to um, strengthen a little bit more of Mercury. We want to strengthen Sun, Saturn, and especially Jupiter. And that you could do with a kavash, a locket that contains the devita um, yantras. He could do it with colors, uh, yellow, wearing co yellow colors for Jupiter or yellow sapphire. He could do it f wearing diamonds for Venus. Uh, no, not D Venus. Um, uh, orange for sun, rubies, um, pearls for moon, wearing white, uh, green emerald for Mercury. Uh, green colors, blue uh, colors for Saturn, blue sapphire. So these are the things that could uh, fix or improve his chart. So thank you for listening. If you would like to get a, um, a Vedic astrology reading, you can go to American uh, to VastuCreations.com under services. There are several types of astrology readings there. Or if you would like to become certified as a Vedic Astrologer, you can go to AmericanInstituteOfVastu.com. Thank you for listening.